What's up, Pansu Patrol, your friendly neighbor Lolicon here, and welcome back to some more Pokemon Red Randomized Nuzlocke. God, it's been so long since I've said that. <laughs> if you didn't know, uh, if you didn't see the update video uh, that I put out a couple days ago, I've been kind of on a break uh, due to the flu. Now, the reason I didn't want to record while I was ill was because I sounded like a six-day-a-day smoker. And it was painful to talk, and I was sniffling, I was coughing, it wouldn't have been very nice for you to listen to. So that's why I haven't been recording, that's why I haven't been uploading, and uh, yeah, I'm back. I'm kind of like 98% better, I've still got a bit of a tickle in my throat, but I'll work through it. I'm okay now. <laughs> God, I say that and then I cough. Okay, so, off screen, since the last episode, what did we do last episode? Uh, what did we do, actually? Uh, we beat Lieutenant Surge. We kicked Surge's ass. And in this episode, we're gonna go through the Rock Tunnel. Dark Cave? Rock Tunnel? Whatever it is. You need Cut to get there. And what I was gonna say was, off screen, I trained everyone up to 25. Now, the reason... Wait, I didn't train everyone up to 25, because Hydrangea's still 23, what the heck? Hydrangea, you're going out front. Uh, so the reason Mothra is still level 23 is because I was training someone else up in his place. That's right, once we're finished using Cut, once we no longer require it, Mothra is coming off the team and is being replaced by... You're gonna have to find out. <laughs> so, let's head on up toward the next route. My notebook, my notebook. I don't have my notebook. You know what, I'll, I'll make a note, uh, I'll make the notes off screen because this episode we will get another encounter. Uh, do I have the bicycle voucher? I do. <laughs> Oh my gosh, my voice, my throat, oof, ouch. I did turn the game volume down a smidge uh, in the hopes that in doing so you can hear the commentary a bit better because I know in previous episodes they've been kind of around the same volume for some reason even though even though in the uh, mixer on OBS the microphone quality, uh, microphone volume I should say is significantly higher than desktop audio but Hey, that's, uh, it's weird, but, but somehow it happens. But we'll, 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 we'll work through it, okay? We'll, we'll get there. Oh, that's a bike voucher. Okay, here you go. Thanks. So, could you just, like, walk in there with any old bike voucher, like, printed off the internet or something? It, no, I didn't mean to do that. Uh, I don't know if I did this last episode or not, but I did t I did teach Mothra Flash. Mothra's kind of now just going to be an HM slave. Yeah. <laughs> he ain't going to be... He ain't going to be doing anything. <laughs> okay. Let's move on ahead. Let me take a drink real quick. Hmm. Nothing like a good refreshing mouthful of Pepsi. Okay. You. You have Pokemon with you. You're mine. That depends. That depends. Uh, sure. Sure, yeah, I'm yours. Ghost Rider Chansey. This is gonna be... This should be a hell of a lot of experience. Oh my god, look at this moveset. I forgot how busted Hydrangea was. <coughs> Maybe I should have gone for the pedal dance. You've got pedal dance. Okay. Um. Hmm. Let's go for the ice punch instead. That. It froze! Wow. What are the chances of that? Okay, how much is Earthquake gonna do? Probably even less than ice punch. No. It did more because. Chansey's special stat is through the roof. This is first gen. 
The special stat is just one stat. It covers both special attack and defense. I don't know where my head's at today. So let's go for Graveler next. I'm just gonna hit the Ice Punch real quick one time. Boom. Dead. <coughs> I apologize for the coughing that you're gonna hear, but talking for a long period of time is gonna dry my throat out and it's, it, it is gonna make me cough. So I, I apologize, but bear with me and uh, We'll, we'll be fine next week. Next week, no cough. I assure you. I say that, but it's kind of more, I hope. I hope so. I hope, maybe. Uh -huh. No, we shouldn't. <laughs> oh, oh my god, Mewtwo. I shouldn't have a cough next week. Swift, I'm locked in. Please don't have a psychic move. No! Oh my god. Okay, you're confused. Uh oh no, I don't have I don't think I have a safe switch in. Okay, you got Swift, you got Aurora Beam. <coughs> I'm gonna take the chance and go into Vape. Vape is my bulkiest mom. Aurora Beam, again, okay. I'm gonna turn my speakers down slightly, just so that I don't- just so the microphone doesn't get any feedback. Hit the waterfall, you got a rock throw. Okay. So this should kill. Yeah, no problem. What was I worried about? Hey, forget about it, hey, what you worried about, man, hey. You deceived me. Uh, mm, I didn't quite deceive you. I do have Pokemon with me. Right, TM47. What is you? What is you? Waterfall. <coughs> I see. Uh, in that case, we're just gonna move on. Uh, should I fight you? No, I'm not gonna fight you right now. I wanna get... I wanna get an encounter. <sighs> You fight me. Who's that walking with those good looking Pokemon? Uh, someone in third gen, probably. Uh, get it? Third gen? The channel mascots like Art of War? Ha huh? ha. Huh? No? Just me? Okay. <laughs> Pikachu! Okay, you're gonna get, uh, you're gonna hit with an earthquake. Dizzy Punch. Don't confuse. Thank you. I'm glad you didn't confuse. This should kill. This should kill easily. Yeah, no problem. Let's go. Aerodactyl. I'm gonna go to Jelly. I know Hydrangea has Ice Punch, but Aerodactyl is one of the fastest mons in the game. Uh, first gen, anyway. <coughs> I think it's second fastest, actually. I think. I could be wrong, but I think it's the second fastest mon in the entire first gen. Second only to uh, Electrode, which I think still remains at number one spot for fastest. Not counting Megas. Alright. You, fight me. I should have healed Hydrangea. Or at least switched out from the front of the team. Please don't have anything broken. Mankey. That's not broken at all. Good. Uh, can I take this moment to heal? I have two potions. Ah, 11 super potions. Good. Wonderful. Excellent. Smasher. Yeah. Yeah. Body slam. Don't paralyze. you got to be kidding me. Hit this man with a psychic. Get him out of here. Full it. You gotta be kidding me. Thunder Punch. Fully paralyzed again? Third time's the charm. <coughs> well, fourth time's the charm. Third? Fourth? Whatever time's the charm. 
Needle Queen. Uh, yeah, I'll stay in on Psy Psychic. Okay, uh, I have Flying Type. So, Dig isn't gonna affect Reaper. <laughs> gotcha, bitch. Drill Pack. Should kill. No, it didn't. Ow. Wait, you missed an Earth... Okay, okay. How? I want to know how. The opponent has dug underground. Emphasis on dug underground. And you're making an earthquake. How does that miss? What? What? I'm... I'm baffled. Absolutely baffled. I just... I just don't understand. I mean, the crit wasn't necessary, but thank you anyway. I'm just so confused at that. I don't understand. How does... How does an earthquake miss when the opponent is underground? I just... I just don't understand. Right, first encounter. What is it going to be? As always, I'm going to turn my speakers up a little and I'm going to close my eyes and try to guess what it is. If we can run into something. There we go. Okay, what's it going to be? I'm going to guess. That's a Vulpix? No, it's a Ninetales. Oh, well, we already have this. So, this is... The first instance of dupes. Oh no. Uh, okay, I'm gonna switch into something that can actually uh, take a hit from this. Yeah. I'm gonna switch into something that can take a hit, and then I'm gonna run away. Because there's no way Vileplume is living a fire blast. Not a chance. Okay, so that was our first first instance of Dupes Clause. So for those who don't know, the Dupes Clause is basically self-explanatory. It's a duplicate. Because we already have it, it means we can re-encounter for something else. So, what can we get? That's another ninth. Okay. Just get out of here. Is that all we can find here? Just nine tails? <coughs> I mean, don't get me wrong. If nine tails is all you can find here, I'll take it. I'll take another nine tails, just in case Okami dies. Better be safe than sorry, I guess. But we'll see. What the hell is that? Is that a poly world? It's a Krabby. Well, I'll admit I'm not too thrilled about this. But I I get I guess I'll take it. One, two, three. Got it. Krabby was cut. What about what do I name a Krabby? Krabby, the river crab Pokemon. Its pincers are not only powerful weapons, they are used for balance when walking sideways. Hmm. I'm gonna be super original. <laughs> super original and. <laughs> Mr. Krabs! Yeah, original. Mm. Original my ass. Okay, so we got Mr. Krabs the Krabby. We've got two more trainer battles to go, and then we can get another encounter. Ooh, ooh, ooh. In fact, we've got enough time in this episode that we may get another two encounters. Mmm. Slowbro. Okay. 
Uh, I don't really have anything that can touch you. What do you have? Uh... <laughs> I would go to Hydrangea, but... <coughs> the whole paralyzed and needing healed thing is kind of putting me off. What does Jelly got? Ice Pond? Yeah. Okay, what does Fierce Ice can do? Jack shit. <laughs> oh my god, no. Okay, you don't exactly do a whole lot of damage, but you have locked yourself in. So let's go into something that resists. Pedal Dance. And let's follow up with a slash. Okay, that was a crit. Okay. Mm. Dude, your pedal dance got a crit. That's that's terrible. That's horrible. Hit yourself. Yes. Good, good, good. No levels. Sandshrew. Let's go back into vape. And vape should just completely destroy this thing in one shot. I say it should, but I know fine it will. Because Sandshrew ain't living a waterfall, that's for sure. Not a chance. No, don't do this to me. It's Brock! No! <laughs> I'm triggered! God damn it. You had to remind me of a Brock. It's been th about three weeks since the last episode. Almost. Almost three weeks. And you have to remind me. God. God. God damn it. <laughs> Let's just get through here. <coughs> okay, so we got one more encounter right here. Uh, I say we do... The encounter... The trainer down at the bottom here, outside the cave, and then we end up the episode. How does that sound? I think that sounds excellent. So let's jump up here again and go into the grass. Once again, I will try to guess what it is. Excuse me? Is that a Lickitung? No, it's a Golduck. I was way off. Like, the, 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 the sound clip, the voice sounded like he was licking something. Uh, you resist this. You're like half my level, but you resist this, so maybe. You had to get a crit, didn't you? You had to get a crit, didn't you? God damn it! We missed out on a Golduck. I would take a Golduck over a Krabby any day. You know what? What else can we find here? We can't get another encounter here. But I want to know, what else can could we have found? <coughs> a Charizard. That would have actually been really dope. Not gonna lie, I may have actually used a Master Ball for that if I found it. God damn it. You, you're gonna feel my revenge. I'm not reading your text. Missing out on that gold X pissed me off. I'm not reading your text at all. You don't deserve it. Cubo. You're gonna get washed. Literally. <laughs> That's dead in one shot, of course. Yeah, boy. Boy. No, no 27. Magmar. Mm. Yo, look at his sprite. He's coming at you.
You walk down a dark alley in the middle of the night and, and see this this boy running at you. What you do? <laughs> you fall to the ground and accept your fate. <laughs> That's what you do. Uh, defense curl. Not a chance. Yeah, if you turned a corner and saw a magmar running at you, you you would be done. You would just you'd have to accept your fate. Like a Pokemon like made of lava. You're you're done. <laughs> you're done though. It's April. Is that meme still still going? The the big shack man's too hot meme. You done know. Right. <laughs> Before we go off on any more tangents, I'm gonna end off the episode here. So thank you very much for watching. We haven't exactly done a whole lot this episode, but we've we've set the groundwork for the cave, which we're gonna do in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching. If you've enjoyed, then hit the like and subscribe button down below for me. Make sure to spread the series around if you think others will enjoy, and I will see you all in the next one. Later peeps.